Seems right, but 7 million people across the United States are expected to hit the skies to head home or go wherever they're heading. But right now we want to show you how the lines are shaping up right here. So this is a pretty cool feature if you're going to be going to the airport. You can see the wait times by gate. So 15 minutes for the A gate. We are over at the D gate right now. That's eight minutes. And then you also get an idea of how many passengers are here. Now we've seen this line a lot fuller throughout the day. AAA says that December 21st to New Year's Day is one of the busiest travel times throughout the year. And we've had a lot of people in Phoenix for the Cheez-It and Fiesta Bowl games. But when you fly during that time, it can also cost a little bit more too, between $600 and $650 for a round trip ticket. For some people, a little sunshine is worth it though, even though it's been quite cold here the past few days. But when it comes to warm weather destinations, Phoenix tops the list at number 10. We talked to a passenger heading home to Denver after spending the holidays with family in Tucson and a girl in the Navy who is finally home in Arizona for some family time. Um, I lived in Denver for seven years, so I'm just flying home after being home for a week for the holidays. Lots Anything of family you're time. craving that you don't have over there? Mexican have food. <laughs> And that girl that was going to Denver, she told us she's actually going all the way from Tucson, as we mentioned. So she's saving about $300 coming here. And earlier, as I also mentioned, there are a lot of people. So we saw some fire crews going around on bicycles. And they say that when the passenger threshold gets met, more of them come out here to prevent any sort of injuries or tend to anybody who might need that medical help. So we're going to stay here throughout the evening and let you know how things shape up as more passengers are expected to come through the airport.